So I was only able to do that for special cases. And now we're able to use that approach for general case. This is Ola Svensson, a professor of the IC school at EPFL. He, with his student Jakob Tarnowski and his collaborator Laszlo Weig, was the first to prove a constant factor approximation ratio of efficient algorithms of the asymmetric traveling salesman problem. Today, we'll discuss some ideas behind the proof. So the first result I had on the symmetric was in 2015. That was uh, on this actually, on this approach I explained. In a previous video, Svensson and Tarnowski proved that they approximated ATSP by juggling with the Eulerian property and the connectivity property. This allowed them to efficiently approximate some simpler versions of ATSP. So we had a paper after the 2015 paper with Jakob and Laszlo as well, where we really tried to push, because it was natural, it was a third approach, so it felt natural that we could push that to the general problem. Then we got stuck, like we'd, we only were able to do like two edge weights, so two different distances. Uh, and that was already very tough, so then we basically gave up for a while. So what was the big idea that allowed to tackle the general case? The proof uh, consists of uh, mostly a series of reductions. Basically, a reduction is an efficient algorithm that uses only a polynomial number of times the solutions of simpler cases to construct a solution of the general case. Now what we're doing in the article is that it's really a sequence of reductions. This means that there is a sequence of simpler and simpler and simpler cases. At each step, Svensson, Tarnowski and Weg determined some algorithm that uses solutions of simpler cases to construct a solution of harder cases. And this means that harder cases can be solved if simpler cases can be. So that I guess that's the biggest difference. That previously we really tried to solve the general instance immediately, whereas now we have like a sequence of reduction. Given any instance, we want to say, okay, now we can assume without loss of generality that it has some extra structure. Then assume more structure and more structure until we can finally solve uh, this instance. Now we, with this sequence of reductions, it's, it's almost the case that the general case is, I would say it's easier than the two edge weights what we did. So once we had the solution, it's a little bit surprising that it actually was pretty easy compared to what, you know, we thought, yeah. One amusing thing is that one of the key reductions was inspired by a particular case which is of quite practical use. So actually, so, yes, yeah, so I was on a lot, quite a lot of workshops last spring. Then I discussed and I think one, one of the things that we realized is that there was no good algorithm that could visit 90% of the cities. All right, so suppose I tell you that, okay, so there is an optimal tour that costs you 10,000 to visit all the cities. Okay, can you find me a tour that is not much more expensive, but you only need to rec visit 90% of the cities? Usually that's much easier problem because you can like forget about 10%. Uh, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> usually it's very hard to have like hard constraints. You have to visit everything. If you're allowed to have some flexibility to throw away some stuff, it's much easier. But we didn't even know that. And that was kind of surprising. And I asked around and nobody knew. So then we started, I started, we started to think about that. And that is one of the key part of the sequence of, uh, of the simplification. So we find something we call the backbone, which intuitively is a tour that visits 90% of the stuff. And then we patch it up. Not often the case that such a basic practical problem is the key to solve a very fundamental theoretical problem. Yeah, in theory, we are usually upset, no, not upset, obsessed with like hard constraints because that makes it harder. And, and somehow people look for hard questions that makes you push the boundaries. But, but in practice, let's say in clustering or something, if you want to find K or K plus 10 clusters, nobody cares. But that makes the problem much easier from a theory standpoint. So here... The technique we used in the first reduction was this amazing power of LP duality. Here we used the recursive approach is fine as long as opt drops. Uh, here we behave, used that the reducible instance actually behaves as node waiters. We can use the constant factor approximation algorithm for that case to get a tor, almost a tor, 
that that almost a tor we call a backbone and together with the instance we call it a vertebrate pair that we complete using the connection to local connectivity and circulations that i that i didn't cover now the constant approximation factor that we get which is like 5000 something uh it's definitely not the right answer